Do some Santa's reindeer have to work harder than others? Well, I'm going to show you how to figure out the answer by using simulation. Okay, so right now we got a reindeer in front of the light, and we all know Santa has to have at least eight um, to nine reindeer. So let's duplicate that one reindeer. First, I'm going to go to linear pattern and I'm going to choose four just to keep it simple. Now I'm going to, I want their noses to all be three meters apart. So I'm going to put that in and go look over here. It wants me to select my object and I want the reindeer. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go to the second op option. It wants us to select our direction. So I'm going to click on it and select this direction. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out to see if it looks good. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to click the check mark and I'm going to move it to the middle. Now I'm going to go exit it out of it and I'm going to tell you a joke. Who is Santa's most impolite reindeer? Rude. Oh. <laughs> and we all know where he is. He's right here at the front. And we all know he's not any ordinary reindeer. He has a um a big red shiny nose. So let's let's give him that. Okay, there we go. Now let's start our simulation. So let's click on external flow. Okay, let's go to the first option. It wants us to select our inlet direction. So I'm gonna choose this. Now if I go here, it wants us to choose our ground plane. So I'm gonna choose this. And we all know reindeers don't run, they fly. So let's pull the ground down a bit. There we go. And there, now they are flying. And let's go over here. We want the air to be going at 100 um, kilometers per hour. And we all know reindeer have to go much faster in order to get around the whole world. But some, um, just to keep it simple, we're just doing 100. Okay, now I'm gonna go down here and solve it. While it's solving, I'm gonna tell you a joke. How do you get in to a reindeer's house? You ring the deer bell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to show you particles, which are down here, and um, I'm going to hide this. If we look at this, it's kind of hard to see what's really happening because there's so much particles. So let's shrink, um, go to my emitter controls and shrink the flow. Okay, you can see that the, the particles hitting Rudolph are orange, and then over here it's getting like yellowish blue, and then a bit darker blue and um, green, and over here is similar to this one. And I wonder what that means, so let's look over here to the right. It looks like reddish orange is going really fast, and then... Um, and then a bit lighter orange is slower and yellow is green is even slower and Blue is really slow and if you look at the particles hitting Rudolph They all look like they're going really fast And if you look over here near the middle and near the back, it looks like it's more bluish green um, so that that makes me think um, that the um, Rudolph has the most drag, and these have a, um, a lot less drag. But um, 
We still don't know if that's true. So let's go up here to monitors and let's select our variable. We want force. And now let's go to the first option. It wants us to select our object. Object. And we want Rudolph to see and see it. Okay, now I'm gonna um, now if we look down here, um, it can sh it shows us there's Z direction, Y direction, and X direction, and it um and Z direction is the um the um it's pointing backwards, so we probably want Z direction. So let's click on Z and check mark. There is our first calculation. Now let's do the same with the second. There's a really big difference between those two. Um, the first one is 57,500 um, newtons, and the second reindeer is Three thousand, um, thirty-seven thousand and three hundred newtons. That's a big difference. Let's let's check out the third. The third is pretty similar um, to uh, the second. Let's check out the fourth. And it looks like it goes up a bit. Now let's check out the lift force. If you look down here, it shows lift is Y direction because it's pointing up. So let's um, select Rudolph for lift. And now let's, um, and since we, um, um, since we're doing lift now, we're going to click on Y and check. Okay, there is our um, Rudolph. It's not um as high as drag force so if we look down here at the lift force the first couple are pretty similar and then the third goes up a bit and then the fourth goes down so if we're look um if we look at this graph with four reindeer if you really want to be a lazy reindeer you probably want to be the third because it has um the most lift force and the least drag force if you like simulations you can do it too if you're a student it's totally free all you have to have is a really good computer here are some questions you can figure out if they are beside each other or um or in a row does that change anything or if they're further apart is that changing anything hope you have fun with it click that like and subscribe button um happy holidays